Alright, so in this video, we're going to be reading all the zombies relevant patch notes that are coming with Season 5. Alright, for the main zombies changes, we have a new perk, Death Perception. Uh, a new upgradable perk now available in the Dirt Wonder Fizz machine in all round based maps and Outbreak. Obscured enemies are key lined, and that's just the base ability. Then Tier 1, minimap update rate is increased. Tier 2, Enemies give danger indicators when behind the player. Tier 3, gain 20% more looted salvage and high grade salvage. Tier 4, increase armor penetration damage by 25%. I'm not sure if that actually increases the, dam the damage against the zombie or if it uh, just allows you to break the armor off faster uh, yet, yeah, but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, in Tier 5, nearby chests, resources, and item drops are keylined through walls. Tombstone, players now take 25% less damage in the shadow form, and the cost has been removed entirely from the tombstone stash, which is really good, honestly. Uh, field upgrades, Tesla Storm, a new field upgrade available on everything. Uh, for 10 seconds, lightning connects to other players, stunning and damaging normal enemies. Tier 1. Double the damage dealt to enemies, stunned by Tesla Storm. Tier 2. Increase the duration to 15 seconds. Tier 3. Special enemies can be stunned and damaged by Tesla Storm. Tier 4. Players generating a field gain 25% increased movement speed. And Tier 5. Elite enemies can be stunned and damaged by the Tesla Storm. Uh, new Flamethrower support weapon available on all round based maps and Outbreak. Outbreak is getting a new region called Collateral. Uh, a new main objective called the uh, Transport Objective. Uh, the Tank Vehicle on several of the regions, not all of them grapple gun equipment uh, added to the crafting table. The Disciple has been added to Outbreak. Uh, new intel and a new gameplay feature called the Omega Helicopter added. Uh, I believe this is a side objective just like the Crystal objective or the Orta objective where you'd fight an Omega Helicopter basically. <laughs> For Mowered or Toten, a couple of hidden surprises have been added. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, the main quest addressed an issue where the boss could become stuck when players quickly moved to the next arena during the main quest boss fight. Closed an exploit that allowed infinitely charging and activating the field upgrade for the canister during the main quest. Uh, it's now limited uh, or capped to 10 activations. Support addressed an issue where the screen was too dark when using the cruise missile support, making it difficult to aim. Stability fixed various stability issues related to Klaus, the main objective, uh, or the main quest, and ammo caches. And on PC, addressed an issue where the dials on the save were not legible when playing at low or the lowest set, uh, texture quality settings on PC. Uh, and general changes, uh, reduced max essence for respawning players in round based maps to 25,000. This will now cap at round 25 instead of round 50. For Dead Ops Arcade 3, we have a new bonus map. They added the Ikari Exit bonus map to the wild. And that's it for all of the main new changes that will affect zombies. We also have two new weapons coming in the battle pass. The EM-2 Assault Rifle. The British EM-2 Full Auto Assault Rifle adds another hard-hitting bullpup option to a category already overflowing with versatility. In traditional multiplayer environments, the EM-2 demands your attention to keep its improved accuracy true to its word. With an optional Task Force Barrel, it can become a reliable three-shot elimination at ranges up to at least 50 meters, otherwise a headshot needs to be mixed in for a faster down. Don't let the weapon's slow fire rate deter you. With a built-in low optic zoom, it is a force at range, calling upon marksmen to use it and defend their allies with all their might. And then there's the Tech 9 SMG. The semi-auto Tech 9 is one of the most unique options yet in Black Ops Cold War. Given that its action mechanism is the first of its category across all the games, first semi-auto SMG. 
On its own, the Tech 9 can eliminate targets in three shots anywhere within 10 meters. Its blowback nature allows operators to place their shots more accurately, differing dramatically from a category filled with more traditional spray and pray options, but it doesn't have to be a semi auto. Operators can outfit it with one of two unique attachments that change its fire type to either three round burst or fully automatic. These attachments also come in with built in position concealment, making it great for stealthy infiltrations and for the full auto modifier. Specifically, it makes this SMG more viable when considering hip fire rushing tactics. Both options increase fire rate, but in exchange, operators must exercise more recoil control with those faster follow up shots. The choice is yours. Uh, the FFAR now deals 30 damage out to 12.7 meters for higher damage at short range, increased hip fire accuracy by 14%. Uh, dual wield pistols will now have reduced movement speed by 5% and reduced strafe speed by 5%. So that's it for the update. A lot of changes this time around, and I'm really excited to see what types of things we can do with the new perk, field upgrade, and the two new weapons being added. And have a great day.